Hello, everybody. Good. How are you today? Chris Miguel, you're here today. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Okay. So well, here we go. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Okay, fine. So we have uh, Maria is here, Luis, Martin, Andrea, Mercy Hi. is here too. Ana Martinez is here, Cesar, and Herbert. Good evening. Hello, good evening. So how many are we supposed to, we're supposed to be here? 18. Two, four, six, nine. Just the half. Nine. One, two, three. Eight. Okay, people, good. So we have uh, this topic pending from yesterday. So you can see the Now we're going to move forward. Now we have this class. You will listen uh, to a conversation about jobs and job requirements where Jeremy's ensure responses will be used. Okay. So this is where we're going to start today. I'm going to repeat the conversation so that you remember the conversation, right? Hi, thank you for joining us again. Ready to listen to the conversation? This time you will listen to job and job requirements, as well as gerunds and short responses. Remember to always practice the conversations with a friend. I need a job. Part A, listen and practice. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling, and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here, you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. Part B. Listen to Brad call about the job. What else does the job require? Holiday Cruise Lines. Hello? I'm calling about the assistant entertainment director job that's advertised online. Is it still available? Yes, it is. 
There's just one thing we didn't mention in the advertisement. Do you speak any other languages? No, not really. Oh. We're really looking for someone who can speak at least one other language. We probably should have included that in the ad. I'm sorry. That's terrible. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, good. So then this is, I need a job, right? So imagine they, they tell you at the end. Then it says, by the end of this class, you will learn how to make statements with gerunds and given short responses. Okay, now look at this one. We're going to be using so do I, so am I. There is a combination of uh, sentences that you're going to use here. So pay attention because you're going to practice today. Ready to know about gerunds and short responses? Follow us in the audio program and stay with us for more explanation. Gerunds, short responses. Affirmative statements with gerunds. I like traveling. Agree. So do I. Disagree. Oh, I don't. I hate working on weekends. So do I. Really? I like it. I'm good at using a computer. So am I. Gee, I'm not. Negative statements with gerunds. I don't mind working long hours. Agree. Neither do I. Disagree. Well, I do. I'm not good at selling. Neither am I. I am. I can't stand making mistakes. Neither can I. Oh, I don't mind. Other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love. Enjoy. Be interested in. Let's talk about gerunds. Remember, a gerund is a verb plus ing. Today we will make reference to verbs or phrases that are followed by a gerund. Like, hate, good at, as well as don't mind, not good at, can't stand. So feel free to say, I like eating pizza. She hates cooking. They are good at writing poetry. Or, I don't mind listening to people's problem. He's not good at playing sports. You can't stand cheating on a test. If you notice, you may change the subject. Just make sure you conjugate the verbs properly. Before we go, we want you to look into the chart. Notice we have other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love, enjoy, be interested in. The way to use these verbs and phrases mm -hmm. is the same as we did on the previous examples. Short responses with so and neither are ways of agreeing. For example, we use so to agree with a positive statement. I need to find a job. So do I. Neither to agree with a negative statement. I don't. Okay, I'm going to come back to this one later. Because I want you to see this. I sent to the chat, the WhatsApp chat. A document that contains information about second common proposition combination followed by Jeremy. Be excited, be worried. Okay, so in that document that you have just received, there is the information about how to use the gerunds after some verbs 
And this is what I'm going to show you in this moment. As it opens. I want to move. Let's give me a second. I have a document who doesn't want to go to the other window. Oh, finally. Okay, so here we have. Okay, this is. I'm going. I'm not going to. We're not going to go one by one because if uh, you will have the chance. This is only part of a list and exercises that belong to this topic. I I am sharing this information with you because I think uh, at this level it's good that you know that there are many other verbs to deal with in English, right? For example, these are some common preposition combinations followed by germs, okay? So this is like a menu already prepared, already and all you have to do is to eat so you don't have to uh to invent anything just to create sentences and to use the expression okay for example if you say uh estoy preocupado okay por hacer eso then you're gonna use this i am worried about doing it. then if you say that you are happy, you can say, I am happy about doing this. I am excited. Okay, you're going to use, I am excited about doing it. So the B is what you are going to uh, change. Because if you are talking about a person, a woman, you can say, she is excited about going to the United States. She's excited about uh, starting a new job. She is worried about changing jobs. Okay, she is worried about uh, getting married. Okay, uh, they are excited about uh, participating in that event. So you see, you are only changing some words. But always, always you're going to use excited about, worried about, complain about, or complain of. That's why it says common prepositions. Okay, combination. Common. What is the prepositions about, about, of, or, from, in, of, uh, on and to. Okay, excited about, complain about, dream about, talk about, think about, apologize for, blame for, forget for, have for, have a reason for, be responsible for, thank you for doing it, thank you for coming, thank you for telling me the truth, the truth. thank you for inviting me. Okay, keep from doing it. Keep him from a keep him from a let's say from a going out at night. Okay, so then and the other one says uh, prevent, prohibit, stop him. Okay, believe in interested in, participating, succeed in. 
they have accused. I was in past tense. I was accused of stealing a donut from my refrigerator. Okay, I was accused of a uh, eating all the fruit from the refrigerator. Okay, you can be accused of anything, right? Capable of, and that's it. Questions? Do you see all this? Uh, we are using here the gerro. Yeah. Then we have, for example, the go plus gerro. Did you go shopping? We went fishing yesterday. Go bird watching. All the activities to express, for the most part, recreational activities are in gerro. Go boating, go bowling, go camping. I will go camping tomorrow. I will go dancing on, on the weekend. Go fishing, go hiking, go hunting. Okay? The special expressions. We have fun playing. Okay, we had a good time eating. We had a good time listening to music. We had a good time talking. Okay, you can use what it is here in this area. Okay, what it is in this area. does not change. Okay. And what it is in this area can be any other verb. We had fun eating, we had fun writing, we had fun listening to music, we had fun watching movies. Okay. This area does not change. I'm trouble. Only this one that says finding his house. Sam spends most of his time studying. Okay, so he's in time watching. Okay, so uh, I have a question. Find, yes. Uh well, the use of, in the first, in the first uh, list, this is, what is the use of keep, this keep, keep someone from doing, from doing it? A stop. A stop. That's the oh, meaning. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So then, these Thank are you. the okay. Good. And this is the list. This uh, this list is uh, after these verbs. You are going to use. What are you doing? Okay. After mm -hmm. a meet. Admit. Okay, then you see he admitted stealing the money. Advice, she advised, waiting until tomorrow. After all these verbs from here, all these ones, then you're going to use the verbs after in I with all of them. Ooh. And this one, verbs immediately by infinitive. Okay, so there are the verbs followed by gerund and the verbs followed by uh, infinitives. Now, if you see the video, For, to buy.
Uh, and stand yeah. making mistakes. Neither can I. Oh, I don't mind. Other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love. Enjoy. Be in. Okay, if you see, I like traveling. I hate working. I'm good at preposition at use. When you have a preposition after the preposition, you always use the verb in ing. Okay. They have I don't mind working. I'm not good at selling. I can't stand making mistakes. Oh. After after I'm going to explain this too. Interested in. Let's talk about gerunds. Remember, a gerund is a verb plus ing. Today we will make reference to verbs or phrases that are followed by a gerund. Like, hate, good at, as well as, don't mind, not good at, can't stand. So feel free to say, I like eating pizza. She hates cooking. They are good at writing poetry. Or, I don't mind listening to people's problem. He's not good at playing sports. You can't stand cheating on a test. If you notice, you may change the subject. Just make sure you conjugate the verbs properly. Before we go, we want you to look into the chart. Notice we have other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love, enjoy, be interested in. The way to use these verbs and phrases is the same as we did on the previous examples. Short responses with so and neither are ways of agreeing. For example, we use so to agree with a positive statement. I need to find a job. So do I. Neither to agree with a negative statement. I don't like working long hours. Neither do I. Did you realize that with both so and neither, we use the verb from the original statement? Also, keep in mind we place the subject or noun or pronoun after the verb. Hello, did you notice when we have an affirmative statement, we agree by using so plus auxiliary plus subject. And when we have a negative statement, we agree by saying neither plus auxiliary plus subject. For example, if I say to you, I like reading books, you may answer by saying, so do I. Or if I say to you, I don't mind talking to him, you may do by saying, neither do I. As said in the explanation, there are some verbs that are always followed by gerunds. We will share them with you so you may practice. Okay, so this one, if you see verb followed by gerund, all these verbs that you see here, are in the list that I gave you, plus some others, right? So you see, after this one, you're going to use admit, advise, appreciate, avoid. Then the following verb, if you need another verb, is going to be in there. Love. And okay. Part one. What about part two? Agree. Okay, when you agree or disagree. If I say I like traveling, then uh, Luis Miguel, do you agree with me or not? Sorry, teacher, can you repeat? I like traveling. Do you agree or not with me? Do you agree with me? Um, so do I. You agree? Yes, I agree. You like traveling too? Yes? So do I, but I can't. <laughs> uh -huh, okay, very good. So they say, yeah, so do I. Then you agree with me, okay? You have the same a like okay that say i like traveling you like traveling okay then you say so do Teacher, i but uh-huh it is correct say uh, so do i like no no only so do i so do i yes because when you are saying so do i you are saying me too mm. hey, me too okay. 
you are accepting you agree okay and so uh, okay yeah okay thank you okay then if you disagree they say i like traveling oh i don't anna how are you how are you why so quiet <laughs> no i just pay attention <laughs> okay now for example it is it's a topic um a, a little difficult <laughs> yeah i mean yeah it, it's mm, yeah not difficult exactly but it takes time because you, if you see the list you have to memorize and learn a lot of vocabulary so it's a very extensive uh, topic okay so that's why uh, you know i do it in two parts but yes you're right okay uh, suppose uh, anna i tell you i like uh, i like football agree uh -huh. or disagree agree uh -huh. or disagree agree so do i so do i okay uh, i like boxing so do i Okay, I like baseball. So do I. Okay. So do I like. Okay, I like, um, let me see. I like, uh, what can I tell you this? I like extreme sports. So do I. So do I. Okay, good. <laughs> um, I like, uh, let me see. I like getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, so do I. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> sure. Okay. Uh, let me see. I like, uh, okay, I like eating a snake. Eating a snake? Oh, no. No. I disagree. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I say, oh, I don't. Oh, I don't. Okay, say, oh, I don't. I don't. I don't. So yeah. here you disagree, okay? And then, but in the other one, you agree with me. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, at the end you say, no, I don't. No. Uh, or, or, or only, oh, okay, oh, I don't. Good. Maria. What? Now we're going to go, okay, if you see the sentences that I was asking um, Luis Miguel and Ana, they are affirmative sentences, right? I like traveling. I hate working. Um, I'm good at using computer. Now, in the negative okay. statements, you agree saying neither do I, neither am I, neither can I. And in the other case is, well, I do. I am. Oh, I am. I am. Okay. Sure. Or I have a question. Uh huh. I I I have a I have the questions. Oh oh, I do the questions. Or or the answer. I I don't I don't understand. I no no no. I'm explain. I I'm explaining in this moment. Okay. Okay. So then, okay. these are affirmative sentences and these are negative sentences. Yeah. Okay. When you have one of these sentences, then you have to wait and say, if you agree ne in a negative form, this way. Okay. And if you disagree, it has to use you have to use one of these sentences. Okay. Now look at this. Before, like is the auxiliary verb is do. Hate is do. I am good, so I say, so am I. I don't mind, yes. do. We say, I yes. am not, then you're using am I. And when you say can't, then is the verb, the possibility to do something, and then you say, or ability, and then you can say can. Yes. Okay. okay, so then if I say, for example, I am not good, Okay, I am not good at cooking. Okay, Amaria, do you agree or disagree? No, I am. 
then you say, I am, okay? So you disagree. Say, I am not good at uh, cooking, and then, well, I am. Okay, so then this is the, the idea. A, I can't stand making mistakes. You say, neither can I. Okay, remember that depending on the verb, yeah. you use... It was the, the answer. Okay. For example, I go to school. I go to school every day. Then you say, mm -hmm. so do I. So do I. Okay. Then when you use, for example, this is the I went to school yesterday. Then here you're going to use so did I. So did I. Okay, so then you're going to use the auxiliary verbs, okay, of the of the sentence and tense that you are using. Okay, so this is important that you remember. And this is where you have to practice and memorize. Say, I I will go to school tomorrow. So will I. Okay, so then we have this one. And then you say yeah. the panther sent the 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 pants. Sorry? The answer the pants the pants. Uh, yeah, but it's not an answer. Remember that this one is like uh yeah, an expression uh, answer, an expression that you uh, use for agree or disagree yeah, yeah. okay that you probably like or do the same or you don't this is when you're using this you're going to use uh, um, if i say if i if i don't disagree uh when i went to school yesterday uh, i and when i didn't Mm, no, because in this I, one you are, because you are just, you agree. It's not negative. Okay, okay. So should I? Okay, if you see this one, here we're going to using go. Okay, we're using when, past tense. Will go. Mobile auxiliary should. Should, should go. go. Then you're gonna use so should I. Okay. And then you say so will I. Now this is if you agree, right? And they say I go to school every day. Then you're going to use O, oh, I don't. I don't, yeah. I went to school uh, yesterday. And you can say here, but. I didn't. Then you're going to use, but I didn't. This the answer, uh, I. Uh, uh, my question, it was a question, was my question, the, this part, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will not. 
then you say by one. Okay. This is the one that you're gonna use, right? And then a. Uh, this is in the case that you do not do the same person the the same uh, things that the other person do. Okay, so then you do not agree. Okay. Shouldn't. Good. All right, people. Good. So this is, for example, what you're going to do. Now you're going to go to. Oh, wait a minute. I think I have. I'm going to share. Okay, yes, you have this box. Okay, you have this image in the in the WhatsApp. Now we have, uh, let me see, no, three, six, seven. So we have 12 people. I'm going to make four groups. And then uh, you're going to practice using sentences. Okay, talking about things that you agree or disagree, so using so do I, neither do I, neither can I, so will I, okay, using all the auxiliary verbs, okay, that we have. Yes, and... Okay, now you're gonna go to groups and then in the groups, what you're going to do is you are going to use, for example, oh, hello, uh, Rebecca, I, uh, I bought a book today. And then Rebecca say, oh, so did I. Or you will say, mm, no, I didn't, but I didn't, okay? But I didn't buy a book. I bought a, I bought a, a CD. I bought a new cell phone, I bought this, okay? Or I will buy a new cell phone next month. You say, oh, really? So will I, me too, okay? So that's what you are using. That's what you're gonna do, practice sentences and practice, so do I, so did I, so will I, neither, okay, neither can I, so that you practice the auxiliary verb, okay? See that, for example, depending on the tense, then you change here the agreement. If it is do, did, will, or should. Okay, so here we go. Please accept the invitations.
Okay. Okay, okay. Sentence affirmative. I like traveling, for example, and you uh, respond. So I said why, or oh, I don't. Mm -hmm. For example. No, I... Okay. <coughs> can you can you start? Okay. And I um... answer. I like dancing. Um, so do I, but I can dance. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, and you? Uh, I love play I soccer. Like... I, I like play soccer. Oh, and okay. You? So do I and Russian. Okay. Martin. Hi. <laughs> I will I will go to watch a soccer match the in this Sunday and you I never watch soccer. <laughs> you don't like soccer? No. Eh? Yes, I like but only, only see uh, the, the, the los goles no más. No, it's a, a, a little bit. It's a resumen. I don't, I don't. Yes. I don't know. Exercise in the morning. Oh, um, so do I. Okay. Um, I hate uh, 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 <laughs> uh, I'm gonna tell you I hate working on weekends because I hate working on weekends. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, so, so do I. I don't work on weekends too. <laughs> so, uh, so do I. Um well another thing I'm good painting. I don't so uh, uh, I know mm -hmm. you can say I painting I I answer is I don't I don't like no I Uh, I uh, what like what do you, do you say? I'm good painting. I good painting. Oh, I don't. Okay. I don't. Uh, uh, I am good at using a computer. Uh, so. Uh... Then you uh here you are. You see the answer, the using the answer. Mm -hmm. I don't mind working long hours. Mm, well, I do. Okay. I'm not good at ceiling. What is ceiling? I'm not at ceiling. L is pentas. Uh, mm. Oh, neither I am. No, it's neither am I. Neither oh, am I. I. 
If you agree. Yes. Okay. You're not good. I'm good. I am. Yes, I am. Um, I can't stand making mistakes. Mm, oh, I don't, I don't mind. Okay, I don't mind. Okay. And, and, and uh, I don't, I don't understand the use of it. Okay, good. Now, any questions? How was the experience? Did you discover some difficult, easy things? What is the, what can you share? Diana, how was it? Uh, Any questions? Sometimes mm -hmm. I get confused about uh, the verbs. So, like, he tell me like something like, uh, I I don't know how to answer like some verbs. Neither do I. I don't remember why. <laughs> neither do but, I. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh, see, so I don't. I, I don't remember. I don't understand. I said neither do I. Uh huh. So I I say just neither do I or neither I don't but mm -hmm. because I don't know how like when you say will will you can say uh, will I not or something so like I that. want uh -huh. it's, uh, it's mm -hmm. neither neither will I okay mm -hmm. good 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 any other comments people so that we can. Uh, have a little review about this issue here. Okay, the first thing, I remember what you have to identify here is that uh, we don't see the auxiliary verb in this sentence, but the auxiliary verb is do, right? Uh, here, the auxiliary verb Is did because it's past tense. And here the auxiliary verbs will. And in the next one, here should. is should. should. Okay, so when we have these verbs, then this is the one that we are going to use here, right? Do and do. Did, did. Will, will, should, and should. Don't worry if uh, if in this moment you, like you said, right, you get confused and you don't know what to use because it's, it's normal. This is uh, something that we don't have in Spanish. Okay, uh, actually in Spanish, it's, it is easier. It is easier because we only say yo también o yo tampoco, right? And then uh, in that sense, in Spanish it's very easy, but in English it, it is not, right? For example, here if I use I don't, I don't go to school, then here we're going to use the negative form. Neither do I, okay. So we're going to be using this, but remember that also 
these are the details that you have to pay attention to. The auxiliary verb in the sentence here, if it is present, is do. But if I use in present, I am in the school. right now then here you're going to use so am i okay because here i am not using the auxiliary verb here or the verb here is the verb to be and this is the confusing part Okay, because you have to think if they are using, for example, if I say uh, a, let me see, Kenya. Hello, Kenya. Hi, I'm sorry. So am I. Okay, what did what did you, what did what did Kenya say? I am sorry. Then I say, so am I. Okay, me too. You see, then you identify immediately, and then you use it. But no, Kenya. But that, what that was not a question. The question is, uh, are you single? Yes, I am. Okay, okay. Then suppose, suppose that uh. A, you say, uh, I am single, then I don't agree in that sense because I am okay. not. And then when you say, for example, Kenya says, I am single, I say, oh, I am not. Okay, because we are using the verb to be. Okay. Now, if I am single too, then Kenya says, I am single. Oh, so am I. So am I. Okay. So because I agree in something that uh, we are in the same we are in the same position. When she says I am single and say, Oh, I am not. We are not in the same page. We are in different different levels, right? She's single, I am married. Okay? Then this is one thing. The other thing is for example, when you have to switch, if you see here is similar to a question form. It's not so I am, affirmative sentence. It's so am I, okay? You switch the sentence, okay? So these are the details. First, identify the tense. Second, agree or disagree, okay? There, okay, switch the order, question form. Okay, question form, but this is not a question. So I don't remember, I have a different keyboard. I don't remember where the question mark is in this one. Okay, suppose this is. Anybody remember in an English? The question mark does not exist. I have just discovered that in my keyword, I don't have a question mark. Okay, so then it is similar to a question mark, but it is not, okay? So we say, I am in the school, and then here you can say, I don't. Here, I didn't. I didn't go to school. Then the negative form is going to be 
neither did I. And the other one is going to be, but I did. Now, uh, Bayanara, if I change here into negative, what is the negative? In contraction. Mm -hmm. I will not. Uh, in contracted, contraction. Mm. Wrong. Exactly, right? Well, you can say I would not, no problem. I just, because here I want you to practice also with the contract. I won't go. Then here you're going to use, if you agree. So, so will I? No, that's affirmative. That's agree, but affirmative. And in the negative, Is, is I won't go to school tomorrow is a question. No, no question. Here, there is no question here. No. Nothing, nothing is a no. question here, okay? That's why you don't have an answer. Okay, here there are no questions. Okay, now just uh, look. These sentences here are affirmative. Okay, and these sentences says here are negative. Okay, this one is I go, I am, I went, I will go, I should go. Okay, and here, and then you answer, so do I, so am I, so did I, so will I. And the other one is I don't go, I didn't go, I won't go, I shouldn't. I shouldn't go. Then in the agree, if you agree, then you're going to use, right, the neither. Neither do I, neither did I, neither will I. And here, you're going to use yes, Anna. Neither should I. Do I? Okay, you're always going to use neither for negative, neither. Okay, I'm going to change the color. Okay, the, the green, the green, the green one is negative. If the sentence is negative here, then you will agree with a negative phrase if you say here one okay here you say never will i neither shouldn't and here should i Okay. You have more practice, teacher. <laughs> Excuse me? We, we need a more practice. Oh, yes, yes, definitely. This 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 topic, that's why I separated the topic with the gerund and the agree or disagree because uh, this one requires practice and listening, a uh, comprehension, thinking in English, okay? So there are like four or five steps, okay? And it's like a process, right? It's a process that you have to follow in order to, to use this. And then in that process requires 
practice, 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 practice. Okay. The, for example, uh, Herbert, tell me a sentence. Todos piensen en una oración, okay? Write a sentence. Okay. Present, future, past, in any one. Okay, Herbert. Okay, okay. Uh, I went to, I, I went to work yesterday. I will? I went, I uh -huh. went to work yesterday. So did I. Okay. Okay, so did I. Let's see. I went to work yesterday, so did I. Luis Miguel, tell me a sentence. Okay. I don't mind working on Sunday. Neither do I. Okay. Neither do I. If I don't mind, neither do I. I can work on Sunday too, no problem. Good. Mercy. Um, I will work tomorrow. So will I. Okay, I will work tomorrow. So will I. Okay, good. Anna? Thank you, Mercy. Uh, I should, I should brush my teeth. My teeth. <laughs> yeah, that's good. So should I. Because, you know, it's time to go to bed. So should I. Okay, <laughs> yes, exactly. Kenya? I go to the bed um, late tonight. So so okay, I will go. Okay. I will uh -huh. I will go to the bed late tonight. So will I. Okay, so will I because I have to do some other things. Okay. So then uh Maria, just the last one because it's almost time to go. Well it's time to go. Mm. I got I got to the bed after class. Okay, so do I, right? So I'll go, I will go, so will I. Okay, people. So you see, this is what you have to identify. First, see if the person is speaking in future, in past, in present, present perfect, past perfect. And then you're going to use, if you agree, if the sentence is affirmative, Okay, if the preference of the person is affirmative, then your answer, well, the, your agreement is going to be in affirmative. So, I like coffee. So do I. I like milk. So do I. I hate. I do. Uh, you say, for example, I hate uh, a cevada. A refreshment, say, uh, they say, I so do I. So, depending on that, okay. So, study this in, in the um, a, in the chat in the WhatsApp. There is a there is the image with expressions, okay? Practice those expressions, and tomorrow we're going to practice with other verbs, other expressions. That way, that way is more advanced. No. Yes, is it is more sophisticated. Uh huh. Okay. Yes, because you know you can say suppose in an interview. But it's you, more. Uh, if if I talk and uh, with a foreign, uh, mm -hmm. uh, not it, native, uh, native, uh, foreign, mm -hmm. foreign, uh, that person. Answer me in that way. Yes, usually, usually they do, right? Uh, remember that if you use me too, sounds more basic. And neither do I, so the why is more uh, is more American too, right? But then they can also say me too, okay, uh, for everything. But when you say neither do I, yes, they would use that a lot. Neither do I, so do I. Okay, I do too. There is another one. Hay otras formas también. But this is just for you to get used to it. Okay? Okay, teacher. All right. Okay, people. So that's all for today. So have a very good night. See you tomorrow, okay? In the same channel. Bye-bye. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night.